So Mackenzie Gore against the Marlins in his career. One and one with a 2.95 in three starts and that ERA 1.29 in this ballpark 147 in the third innings and you're looking at more innings more starts but hitting that 30 game started mark for McKenzie huge for me Xavier Edwards leading things off so that's a leadoff walk by McKenzie Gore to start the ball game this afternoon and here comes Connor Norby driven to right Dylan Cruz back now he's going to circle get right behind it for the first out edge of the track the batter now will be Jake Berger there goes Edwards there's the throw and it's late so another stolen base against Gore another stolen base on Ruiz and a runner in scoring position for the Marlins Looked like a breaking ball kind of a backdoor variety stayed out there and Berger strikes out that's number 159 for Gore and lefty lefty now with two outs with Jesus Sanchez inside ball four he walked him second walk here in the top of the first inning by Mackenzie Gore and with two outs the Marlins have first and second and Jonah Bride coming to the plate. He's three for 12 in this series. A beauty of a breaking ball to end a crazy inning where there were two walks, two strikeouts, and a long fly ball. Marlins leave a couple against Mackenzie Gore. And now Adam Aller will go to work against this Washington Nationals team. It's a wild pitch, and that'll send James Wood down to second base. Here's Andres Chaparro with an opportunity to do a little bit of damage. Chaparro with a pop up back behind first base. It's like Otto Lopez has the best angle and he makes the catch. And that'll bring Luis Garcia Jr. to the plate. He shows bunt. He bunts it right back to Aller, who fields and fires in time. Garcia's out. Scoreless after one here in Washington, D.C. Johnny Pareda facing Mackenzie Gore. Hit high in the air, right center field. Pretty deep. Young, the center fielder on the run, shading his eyes with his hand. He has the ball clank off his mid and fall to the ground. Pareda sprints to second. And the leadoff man is on for the Marlins. So a rare mistake for the defensive wizard, Jacob Young in center field. And they are going to go error all the way on the play on what should have been a fly ball that was caught in the warning track. One out and a runner on second. Line drive into center field. That's a base hit. Pareda chugs to third. He gets the stop sign there. And Connor Norby has a single. That's the first hit for the Marlins. And there's runners on the corners. One out for Jake Berger. High fly ball center field. Young going back. This is probably deep enough to score the run. Young makes the catch. Parade attacks from third. He comes in to score. The throw goes to second. Sacrifice fly Jake Berger. And the Marlins strike first. It's 1-0 Miami here in the top of the third. Now Jesus Sanchez. Pitch away with the runner on the move. Look at that bullet. Pitch out. Right on the bag. Hey, Bear Ruiz popping it and then right on line to get Connor Norby at second. It'll be Jesus Sanchez, Jonah Bride, and Otto Lopez. Swing and a miss, and that's carving up a left handed batter right there. Third strikeout of the day. Finish it off with a nasty curveball. Here's the pitch to Jonah Bride. Hot shot, and uh, Nassim Nunez, one of the few mistakes he's made this year. Drop down, backhand side, not far enough. Now that's an error. Here's Otto Lopez. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on a high fastball at 96. So Gore takes care of Lopez. That's his second three pitch strikeout of the inning. That gives him four Ks. It's Javier Sonoha here who bounced out to Jose Tena first time. And this one will send Garcia to his left. He scoops it up. Had time to get the feet all squared up. Gore. A little more economy. In fact, a whole lot more now. Now Chaparro and Garcia. And a grand total of two hits in this game. Oh. And Chaparro, right field line. There's nobody anywhere near that ball. It's going to drop fair. Rattling around in the corner. Andres to second. Sanchez gets it back in pretty quickly. But there's his third double in his last 10 games, plus two at bats. Here's Luis Garcia. Second best RBI man this year. Kind of like that. Base hit to right. Chaparro's going to be sent. And the Nats are right on time to tie it with back to back hits here in the fourth inning. Here's Tana. Ground ball softly hit toward the hole. It's short, and it's under the glove of the reaching shortstop Edwards base hit. Garcia is digging for third. He'll make it. And suddenly, after one hit in three innings, the Nats have three in a row. And now K. Bert Ruiz. That's going to work to right. A one hopper to Sanchez. Garcia scores. Nets have the line moving here to take a 2-1 lead in the fourth inning. Two outs, bases empty, James Wood. That ball is hit high and deep to center. Oh Going back, Pache. See you way later. Wind blowing in from right center. Didn't matter. That's an absolute bomb for number six. 
James Wood get the head out. Not too many times you see the center fielder just kind of watch it over his head. Into center field here. 109 off the bat, 435 feet, and just a perfect swing, aggressive. Like, I'm tired of getting pitched on the corners. I'll go to it. You want to get it there? I'll go. RBI number 35. The Nats lead 3 1. See what Davey Martinez is thinking. You, you know he's going to leave Gore in to face the lefty. Jesus Sanchez. Well, this could be nice. Nunez by himself. <laughs> the 6 3 double play. That's an inning inning double play, and Gore is through six innings. After that very lengthy first inning, good job to get through six for Gore. Is looking for his ninth win. The Nationals have a 3 1 lead, which is the job of Eduardo Salazar to protect. This is hit well out toward left, and it's gone. A home run for Jonah Bride. Leading off the seventh inning with a solo home run to make this a one run game. And Miami's third hit is their first extra base hit, a 401 foot bomb. And the Marlins pull to within three to two in the seventh. Bride's seventh home run this season. It's James Wood leading off the eighth. Second game for Declan Cronin. Ooh, there's another good swing to deep left center by Wood. See you later. It's a two by two piece of wood today. And the Nats are up by a couple again. Well, that is how you reintroduce yourself to everybody. First multi home run game for James Wood of his career. We've been waiting for the little bit of a power outage from him to end. First one's a fastball, second one on a slider, and just absolute new. Jose Ferrer making appearance number 25. No record, 3.42 ERA. Here at his sixth hole of the year with two scoreless innings here on Friday night. This one up the middle, a base hit. And if we. Uh, maybe have said it every day of this road trip Marlins bring the tying run to the plate in the ninth. Here's Otto Lopez 0 for 3 today with a couple of strikeouts and this one is a base hit toward right center field Brian on his way to second and he will make the turn Otto Lopez a knock the other way and the Marlins are in business with runners on the corners. So here's Hensley first and third with one out here in the top of the ninth inning Marlins trailing by a pair that one gets to the backstop Bride's going to stay put at third base but Otto Lopez moves up a hit here may very well tie it this one toward the shortstop Nunez backs up makes the throw to first dugout by Gallo a run scores. But that's the second out of the inning. That is a great play on both ends. Here's Fortes pinch hitting. And a ball hit to left. James Wood, the reason the Nats are ahead, and he'll put away the last out of this series. So the Nats to the Marlins. They say, I got your 11 and 2 last year right here. We'll turn the tables on it and do 11 and 2 against you this year. Good weekend for the Nats. And now they've won their 68th game of the year.